I'm an action figure. In creating Hercules, the Disney artists really went from zero to hero. Starting with blank pages, they produced lots and lots of artwork to bring to the screen an adventure of mythic proportions, set in amazing places with a cast of fantastic characters. Before you start making an animated movie, you have to decide what it's going to look like. The Disney artists started by creating hundreds of pieces of concept art, all to help the movie makers decide just how to portray Hercules and his world. The Disney artists decided they wanted to make their Hercules fun and cartoony. They even invited a world-famous British cartoonist named Gerald Scarf to help design the movie. Let's look at some of the ideas he came up with. Here is Gerald's drawing of the muses. And of Pain and Panic. This is what he thought Phil should look like. And here's one of his ideas for Hercules himself. One of the real challenges was to design Hercules as a superhero who was strong and sensitive. Here, Herc isn't afraid to show his feelings, even though he has superhuman strength. But the artist knew that the best way to portray the sensitive side of Hercules was to show him with his leading lady, Meg. The Disney artist wanted the hot-headed villain Hades to be funny, as well as menacing. Here are some of the different looks they tried out. Since the original Hercules myths came from ancient Greece, the artists wanted to include elements of Greek art in their designs. If we look at the character design for Meg, we see that her body looks like a column, and both her dress and her hair have the look of flowing drapery. As they did with the characters, the artists included shapes and lines from Greek art in the world of Hercules, as seen here on this vase. called for lots of special art that had to look like it came straight from ancient Greece. Greek myths and Grecian art also affected the creation of Mount Olympus and the gods who lived there. Here we see Zeus, the head of the gods and the father of Hercules. And this is another idea for Zeus. Here is Ares, the god of war, and the goddess of wisdom, Athena. Once the look of the movie is set, the artists go to work creating the actual settings in which the animated characters will move. It took an average of 53 hours to paint just one background. Story artists create the action in the movie with drawings. This action is called business. You wanna buy a sundial? So the story artists came up with lots of funny business for the Hercules characters to do. In fact, a lot of those ideas did not make it into the movie, like these. To tell the story of Hercules, the artists made comic strip-like sketches that became storyboards. In these examples, the story artists created the battle between our hero and the many-headed Hydra. Here's how this scene looks in the finished film. Once the story is set, it's the animators who bring the characters to life. This is Andreas Deja, who is the supervising animator of our hero. Hercules. My, <clears throat> my name is Hercules. 
Here's Nick Ranieri, the supervising animator of Hades. You know, I haven't been this choked up since I got a hunk of moussaka caught in my throat. Huh? And the supervising animator of Phil, Eric Goldberg. Looks to me like Eric drew Phil as something of a self-portrait. Holy Hera. You know, maybe if I... No, really, I snap out of it. In all, it took almost a thousand heroic artists and other movie makers to bring Hercules to the screen. I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of the art they created, because without these drawings and paintings, there wouldn't be a movie for you to watch. And that's the gospel truth.